Hello people, in this video let us look at senile cataract or age related cataract. What is cataract? It is opacity of the lens or the lens capsule which impairs the vision that is cataract. In that we have morphological classification also we have another classification like congenital or acquired. Under acquired cataract we have this senile cataract okay. This is caused because of degeneration of the lens fibers. You can look at this. Senile comes under acquired. The symptoms will be slow, painless, defective vision. So, they can have diplopia, polyopia, glare. They can also see colored halos. In the previous video, we have already covered the morphological classification. We have also covered the congenital cataract classification. We have also looked at the acquired cataract classification, right? So, this, this uh, is the classification. So, in acquired cataract, guys, you have senile cataract or aged related cataract guys. So, where is uh, this topic coming under senile cataract or age related is coming under acquired cataract. So, introduction is over. This table is looking a little cumbersome but anyways look at it. This is nuclear cataract. Okay. So, senile cataract can be nuclear or cortical. So, if it is nuclear, you have all these uh, Cataracta brucens, cataracta nigra, cataracta rubra. So, these people will have something like a second sight. They will suddenly start seeing the near things which they had stopped seeing due to presbyopia. Then it can affect the cortex guys. So, if it affects the cortex, so these are the cortical. So, in the cortical you have some stages like lamellar separation, then incipient. Then you have immature. Okay, then you have mature or ripe. Then you have hypermature under which you have Morgagnian and sclerotic, okay, two types are there and a hypermature. Age related cataract is the commonest type of acquired cataract, and this is bilateral, it affects both the genders above 50, okay. But the thing is, one eye can get affected before the other, though this is condition is bilateral. So, in senile cataract, if the nucleus is affected, it is hard cataract, and if it if the cortex is affected, it will be soft cataract. So, here where is the nucleus? Here this is the nucleus. So, that will be hard and if the cortex is affected, it will be soft. In cortical again, they are saying it can, it is more common cuneiform or cupuliform. cupuliform. This is like posterior subcapsular cataract. Cupuliform means just remember cup, okay, cupuliform. Cuneiform means wedge shaped, it will be peripheral. Look at this cuneiform starts from periphery wedge shaped characters so this is wedge shaped characters so this will be cuneiform so guys did you understand under senile cataract you have nuclear which can be also called as hard and cortical which is also called as soft in that you have cuneiform cupuliform you can have and uh, cortical itself you have all those stages immature mature hypermature etc so you have nuclear which is hard right where the person gets a second sight kind of a thing then you have cortical in cortical, what and all you have? Lamellar separation, incipient, immature, mature, hypermature. And in hypermature, you have two things, Morgagnian and Sclerot. Remember, all this can coexist, nuclear with cortical, cuneiform, cupuliform, etc. Causes, remember, age above 50 years and uh, both genders it affects. But they are saying it is slightly more in females, interestingly. Hereditary also can be there, ultraviolet irradiations, diet. So, if the diet is deficient in certain proteins, right, then it can happen because of dehydration and blame smoking also. So, look at the causes written here. Some factors are added here to show that it can occur much before. So, why does the transparency of the lens get lost or why is it becoming opaque? Now, in, in terms of nuclear cataract, nuclear senile cataract, there will be degenerative changes, nuclear sclerosis dehydration compaction so it become a hard cataract you already know this right nuclear means it will be hard so there will be lot of water insoluble proteins in the nucleus in this there can be deposition of pigments that's why you saw that black red and all that remember here in our table this is nuclear right see nuclear what and all is written some cataracta brucens that is brown <clears throat> cataracta nigra which is black cataracta rubra red right all that amber it starts with amber amber is this color between yellow and orange they are saying if you see actually this one nuclear cataract 
it looks the same color isn't it this one and this one they look very similar right amber so this is early nuclear senile cataract look at this when it becomes brown cataracta brucens when it's black cataracta nigra cataracta rubra remember nuclear cataract will be hard now let's move on to the cortical senile cataract so cortical senile cataract mechanism of loss of transparency of the cortex let us look at why the cortex will lose the transparency here look at this uh, table here this is increasing age there are two things that are happening here decrease in the function of active transport pump so the pumps in the lens are not going to work the function is reducing then here reduced oxidative reactions so because of the decrease of these pumps active transport pump mechanism reversal of the sodium potassium ratio so the lens fibers are getting hydrated so more water kind of a thing they are getting hydrated please give a blue they are getting hydrated lens fibers are getting hydrated denaturation of lens proteins is occurring opacification of the cortical lens fibers here what is happening reduced oxidative reactions increased sorry decreased level of amino acids amino acids they want if there are no amino acids that is bad decreased level of amino acids decreased synthesis of proteins because no amino acid decreased synthesis of protein lens fibers denaturation opacification so here what is happening water is increasing hydration here amino acids decreasing so no new lens fibers so this everything adds up to cause opacification of what the cortex so here you can see active transport pump they have indicated so active transport pump sodium potassium atp as and here you can see it is trying to take in amino acids is that what it means it's trying to keep the water out is it interestingly the meaning of cataract is actually waterfall so how does the lens actually keep transparent by the avascularity by tightly packed lens cells narrow lens fibers okay there are no organelles in it the lens proteins are there like uh, what are these aquaporins and the lens capsule is a semi permeable character so lens will have what lens capsule it will have the lens will have lens capsule it has some semi permeable character it has pump mechanism which you just now saw so there will be high concentration of reduced glutathione in the lens reduced glutathione remember so that there will be what auto oxidation auto oxidation and high concentration of reduced glutathione in the lens okay that maintains the lens proteins in the reduced state so mechanism of loss of transparency we have seen so cortex why will it lose transparency so to summarize less pumps hydration of the lens fibers will occur decrease in amino acids and lens proteins synthesis of lens proteins cannot happen so this is cortical uh, mechanism of loss of transparency so you know nuclear cataract guys so here what and all you saw so far amber color then it will become brown black red right and here the person gets second sight why let us look at this so the person basically has what nuclear cataract see the index of the lens has increased right because of all the opacification so what happens now <clears throat> earlier he was not able to see uh, he he does not have accommodation first of all remember this this person lost accommodation at the age of uh, 45 something like that now this index um, has increased of the lens the lens index has increased so when he looks at a near object what happens the near object's rays are coming like this and accommodation is not working yes but the lens index has increased so it focuses exactly on the retina he is able to see the near object what happens to the far object the far object now because index is higher it will again converge so it will get index myopia it will fall ahead of the retina so this person will have index myopia for what for distant vision he will have index myopia near vision will correct itself which he had lost at age of 45 due to press biopia accommodation failure now anyways he doesn't need accommodation because the index of the lens has increased so the same thing is written here you can read this so did it just get too complicated guys so this is nuclear senile cataract now let us move on to 
cortical senile cataract in this you have all those uh, there are so many types so cortical senile cataract guys it is soft cataract you already know this so what is affected the cortex is affected not the nucleus here you, initially you have lamellar separation then incipient immature mature or ripe then you have hypermature in that you have two types morgagnian and sclerotic let's do one thing guys cortical senile cataract let's take in the next video in each of these we will look at in that what do you say better okay bye bye guys for nuclear cataract itself looks like there's some grading okay based on the uh, slit lamp bio microscopy grade one will be whitish or greenish yellow look at this whitish or greenish yellow then yellowish amber brownish blackish so all these colors you should know whitish oh sorry white greenish yellow yellowish amber brownish blackish blackish is going to be ultra hard rock hard rock hard is what grade 5 grade 5 is ultra hard rock hard okay so in this image also they seem to be showing same thing grade 1 should be whitish or greenish yellow grade 2 should be yellowish grade 3 medium hard amber grade 4 will be brownish hard then if it becomes black what will you have ultra hard we had one photo for black also right look at this one this one is black right black is ultra hard brown is what brown is uh, hard grade 4 yes